Hi, if you're in the market for a portable foldable solar panel, I want to show you two that you might want to consider that are kind of in the same range. What I have here is the GrowWatt 200 watt portable solar panel, and I have the EcoFlow 220 watt bifacial foldable portable solar panel. So both of these are great solar panels. I like both of them. They kind of have their unique uh, benefits and I want to go over those. So the GrowWatt one, uh, I like it because it has a lower profile and it's very fast to set up. At the end of this video, I set up both of these in real time so you can see like how long it takes to get them out of the case and unfold them. Uh, the same with the EcoFlow and the GrowWatt. You can see there's different segments. There's four segments on each and they're wired in parallel. So for example, if I were to shade this one right here, uh, it won't affect these other three. Same with the, the EcoFlow. This one has kickstands in the back that hold it up. And one thing I like about it is that right here, this piece of metal, it connects in with a magnet. Some other ones have like a, a tab and you have to push really hard. And one thing you have to be careful with with these foldable solar panels is that you don't crack the monocrystalline right here because once it cracks, you can't go back and fix it. So I really like that they use the magnets to hold it on there. On the EcoFlow, this also uses monocrystalline cells, but it is a bifacial solar panel, which is kind of crazy how they made this work in a portable format like this, because what bifacial means is that there's no back sheet or covering on the back. And so what it allows uh, it to do is pick up some incident light. So like the light that's bouncing off the ground, the things behind me, it can pick this up on the back side of the solar panel to increase its overall efficiency and uh, electricity gain. Uh, so that is a really cool thing to have, especially when you have it outside. So not only are you getting the direct sunlight here, uh, but all that incident light on the back. So the GrowWatt is not a bifacial. It just has this you know, water resistant material uh, on the back side. And I should mention, they are both water resistant. So if you need to leave them outside uh, while it's raining, you don't have to uh, you know, run out and try to put them away. Uh, if you do have a power station outside, that's another matter. So you, uh, you probably want to go put that away, but the solar panels themselves can get wet. Both of them have MC4 connectors on the end, and those are waterproof connections. They have a waterproof junction box on both sides. And as you can see with the GrowWatt, it does have these stands here that collapse in and are held on by the magnet. The EcoFlow is a little bit different. The case that it comes in is the stand. And so there is a hard portion of the stand right here. And then there's a soft portion. So the hard portion stays on the back side and it has these clips that hook into the grommets that hold it up. So there's two on the top and there's two on the bottom. Usually when I set this up, I don't use the ones on the bottom because I don't feel like I, I need to, but they are down there uh, in case you want to use them. And then having it this way also allows me to angle it if I want to change the angle to get a better uh, you know, gain from the sunlight. The case here, uh, same as with the GrowWatt, is a water resistant case, waterproof zipper. They have nice handles with Velcro on them. Uh, easy to carry and uh, easy to put away. I believe the GrowWatt is faster to take out and put away than the, uh, the EcoFlow, uh, but the EcoFlow is going to uh, make a little bit more power because it's 220 watt bifacial. So I have the EcoFlow hooked up right now. So let's see what it's making. So it's a late day sun here and it is making 170 eight watts. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, sorry for the camera, but there's so much sunlight here. You might have to adjust me. There we go. 177. You probably see that. 176 watts. So that's pretty good for this late in the day uh, and the angle of the sun. So let me switch it over to the grow watt and uh, it's not going to be the exact same because they're at slightly different angles, but it should be close. All right, so I have the grow out all hooked up. I'll show you those numbers in a second, but I didn't show you the case for it. It also has the water resistant material and the water resistant zippers 
nice handle, very solid construction on this uh, carrying case. And the one side is uh, sort of the, the hard side and there's a soft side, just like the EcoFlow. Uh, but this one is only for storage, it's not part of the stand. All right, it's a little bit later because I had to go do something, but let's check to see the production on the GrowWatt panel uh, with my other power station over here. And it is producing 142 watts currently. So in the late day sun, uh, that's pretty good. So I would say, uh, you know, just from these tests, you couldn't draw a uh, complete comparison for their output. But I can say I've used these in many different scenarios at different times, and they make their stated wattage or above their stated wattage. So very good solar panels. This one's a 200 watt solar panel. This one is 220 watt bifacial solar panel. So in summary, both of these solar panels are excellent portable solar panels. I like them both. They are easy to fold up and set up. So as promised in real time, I wanna show you how long it takes to set up each one of these. Today I'm taking a look at a couple products by EcoFlow that they sent me over to review. This is their 220 watt solar panel. Uh, and it's really cool because it can work on either side. It's got double facing panels here. We're about at the heat of the day. Um, it uses the case that carries everything uh, to support it so you can adjust the angle. Uh, you can also just lay this flat if you wanted to. And around the back side here, you have the wiring connections here. It comes with um, this one that's attached to the panel, and then your power station should come with the adapters to go into it. And right now, uh, we're charging and charging my phone at the same time. So we have 130 watts. I don't know if you can come in and see this display. Sometimes they are a little bit fuzzy, but we have 130 watts going in, I'm trying to get the right angle there, it's a little hard. And we have 20 watts going out, charging my phone. So you can see the percentage of the battery um, and you can see the charging time remaining is about three hours or so. Now this power station has USB-C, so I could take this out and I could plug my USB-C in here and I can charge my phone like that if I wish. Um, or you can use any of the available uh, ports here if you want to charge like that. Uh, it's really good. It has app and everything that you can connect. You can turn your DC power on and off. Uh, you can run a lot of different things off of this power station here. This is the River 2 Max. I'm doing super fast charging with my uh, charger from my phone here. 
It's very lightweight and portable, and it's a good combo with a 220 watt solar panel for this one. I think it's a pretty good, uh, a pretty good combination. Uh, it's got it's it's lightweight enough that you can you can carry it with one hand, no problem. Some of the other larger power stations, they they are quite they are quite a bit to handle. Now you don't have to get a solar panel set up uh, if you want to use a power station. You can of course just plug them in and charge them from your car. You can charge them from the house before you go on a trip. We're getting ready to go on a camping trip, and this is a great set up for a couple day usage something like that so you can charge it and the cord is also long enough that you can bring this inside of the tent or something like that uh, and leave this outside charging and it all packs up into this nice case that has a rigid back so it's going to help protect it uh, there's a lot of different configurations but this is going to be your primary configuration for the solar panel it does come with fully detailed instructions that you can go through uh, look at all of these things. EcoFlow is one of the top, uh, one of the leading solar panel and battery uh, manufacturers. So they're going to come with a very good quality um, system and just the overall user experience of these things is nice. Being able to connect into the app and you can see how long things are charging and that like that kind of stuff is really, really nice. Um, there's a beautiful solar panel set up here. I can show you, you can lift it and you can adjust the angle like that. You could also just take off the clips and lay it flat if you're on like midday, something like that. So I'm going to leave this charging out here. So we'll be ready to go using the energy from the sun to power our adventures. I'm going to do a really quick comparison between this EcoFlow 160 watt fold out solar panel and the Massimo 100 watt solar panel that fold out as well. I'm going to put them into the EcoFlow River Pro and see what each one produces. The 160 watt EcoFlow is noticeably a larger fold out system. It's 60% uh, larger in, let's see if it's actually 60% larger in production when we put it into the battery. So this is like a very, very durable looking fold out panel. Just gonna lay these flat for now, see what they get. See, it's, it's kind of late in the day, so the sun is not full out. It's coming from over on the side. It's not in like middle of the day, so we'll see what we get. And we're getting 52 watts. Let's see if I tilt the panel what we get. We're up to 73 watts input on the 160 watt panels. All right, the Massimo panels are much more kind of compact, but let's see what they produce in the same sun. So I'll have them facing straight up to start, plug into the panels, and then I'll plug it into the battery. Facing straight up into this late day sun, 39 watts of input. Now I'm gonna tilt the panels and see what we get. Massimo 100 watt panels are now kind of on their tilt with their stand, which is pretty easy to use. Now they are getting 57 watts, which this is pretty interesting because the EcoFlow is a much bigger system and it wasn't getting that much more than these 100 watt Massimo panels. But I'd be interested to test this out in midday sun. In this video, I want to compare two portable solar panels. These are both from EcoFlow. This one is the 160 watt portable foldable solar panel, and this one is the 220 watt bifacial solar panel, again, by EcoFlow. So both of these work very well. They each have four segments made out of monocrystalline cells. They are wired in parallel. So if I were to shade one of these segments or this one over here, the other three will produce at their maximum rate. For both of the panels, the case doubles as the stand. So you can see here, this case is holding up the panel and it has a clip on here that goes into those grommets. The same with the 220 watt panel. The case is water resistant and so is the zipper. The one thing that is different besides the wattage difference 
between these two is that the 220 is a bifacial solar panel. So take a look at the back of this one. You can see this gray material, this water resistant material, but on, the, on this one, there isn't anything. And you can actually see the solar cells. So this is what a bifacial solar panel means. And it's pretty incredible that you can get a portable solar panel that is bifacial. So basically it's producing on the front where all the sunlight is hitting it, but all of this uh, ambient light from the grass, bouncing off that piece of foam, going up on this back here, creating uh, extra power, which makes it more efficient. And overall, you know, you're gonna get more power uh, out of this bifacial panel. So that is a very big difference, again, besides that wattage. Okay, now let's take a look and see what these guys are producing. The 220 watt solar panel with the way it's pointing at the sun is making about 185 watts at the moment. And the one over here, the 160 watt solar panel is making 84 watts. So you can see the sunlight is over there, but they're pointed this direction. So hopefully this has been a helpful look at the 220 watt bifacial solar panel versus the 160 watt portable solar panel, again, both by EcoFlow. 220 watt bifacial solar panel, the case is actually the stand included. Boom! This is 220 watts of bifacial solar panel for the EcoFlow. Whether you're using this with the EcoFlow power kit or any of the EcoFlow portable solar generator, this thing is an awesome portable solar panel. As you can see right here, it's pretty lightweight for the size. It's 220 watt and it's bifacial. So you can collect sun from one side and from the other side. So you're going to maximize your sun. You're going to maximize your capability to cut power from the sun. Let me move out this so we can lay up our solar panel. So I can use that as a kick stand to prop up the solar panels like this, we're gonna leave the solar panel flat down like this. That way it's quick and easy. Now one thing to make sure that you are aware of, right now, the solar panels are actually operating and sending powers to these leads right here. So when I connect the leads, it's best if I put these into the shade. So right now the solar panels are in the shade, I can wire up. So this cable right here, it's got your MC4 over here, and the MC4 is gonna connect directly to your solar panel, just like that. That's one connection, and here's another connection right here. Boom, that's it. We got the connector into our EcoFlow power hub. All right, so this one now connects to any of these inputs right here. So I can go ahead and open this up and snap it in. Let's go, boom. There's our PV in. So right now, we got the solar panel, it's all wired up. Now we're gonna expose the solar panel to the sun. So there we go, getting some sunlight into the solar panel. All right, let's see how much power we're generating with our 220 watt bifacial solar panel. Again, you got the solar panels in the front and the back. They're only using the front right now. It's okay because we're just doing this as a test. Ideally, we're gonna put the solar panels on the roof of our tiny home. But for now, we're gonna keep it there as a test. So here is the EcoFlow power hub. We got the console right here. Look at the input. We can turn on solar, boom. This is solar number one, whoa. There we go, we got, we got 147 watt of solar. Oh, 184, 184, 187. So we have solar input right there, 191 watt. See, that's free power from the sun, guys. 191 watts. Sweet. So that is free energy. Look at over here. It's a very simple setup, right? This is the EcoFlow 220 watt by Fisher solar panel. Easy way to get power into your EcoFlow, whether it's a power station or whether it's a power kit like we have in our home. 190 watt of solar input right there from the EcoFlow.